very rough and trotting. Crystal's pistol from the inside gets the first call of this Saturday afternoon. She's in orbit, left for a good position as well. Jefferson County floats out now and drops into third in front of Prince of Broadway, who is fourth. Racing in fifth position, Irish Valentine, as they continue towards the opening quarter of a mile. KJ Charlie is sixth by two lengths, and Sierra B is about eight lengths off the lead. And the lead belongs to Crystal's pistol. And the three-year-old filly is up by a length at the doorstep of the quarter. She's in orbit, looking for her second straight it is right there, second by two lengths in third position, Jefferson County, 33 and two the opening quarter. So Crystal's Pistol with a friendly pace up top leads it by a length and a quarter. She's in orbit is second by two lengths. Jefferson County is third by a length. Prince of Broadway is fourth. They make their way in towards us for the first time. Single file. Irish Valentine is fifth by a length. And it's KJ Charlie and length clear of Zero B who continues to trail the field. And Crystal's Pistol continues to lead. Half times on the board. One minute and two. Crystal pistol in front by a length she's in orbit races second jefferson county moves to the outside third as they make their way towards that three quarter mile station prince of broadway is fourth to the outside irish valentine starts a bid jefferson county drives out of third now as they start their second and final journey up the back stretch crystal's pistol has the lead but jefferson county is carving into the margin she's in orbit starts to look for racing room third prince of broadway steered to the outside to a sure clearance fourth roger plant's got him only two lengths off the lead Past three quarters and 130 and three. KJ Charlie looks to save ground from far back. Sierra B looks to mount an initiative two. Around the turn they go. Crystal's pistol leads it by a half. Jefferson County still on this long grind. She's in orbit on the inside third. Outside Prince of Broadway is fourth. They straighten away for the stretch drive. Crystal's pistol still has the lead. Jefferson County on the outside. She's in orbit up the inside. Mid stretch. Crystal's pistol inside. She's in orbit. Crystal's pistol. Crystal's pistol holds on. She's in orbit just missed. Here they come. Very off and trotting off stride at the start was explosive drama. Eight made a break right at the word go. Connie Keeper from the outside moves out for the lead. Speedy taxis right there on the early scene too. Majestic Lady Joe drops down third by two. Explosive victory comes away fourth as they make their way towards that opening quarter. Three lengths back down along the pylons. Racing in fifth is pick up the tab followed by Lodi Bank Robber. Fourth Defiant is seventh and way behind explosive drama and Speedy Taxi drives out of the two hole and moves up to take the lead past an opening quarter in 29 and 4 so it's speedy taxi the leader by a length Connie keeper back to the two holes second majestic lady joe is third by one explosive victories tied on the helmet fourth about four lengths off the lead moving to the outside pick up the tab starts an offensive now moving fifth into fourth and gaining solidly in sixth position to the outside comes lodi bank robber four clear of fourth defiant way back to explosive drama as they make their way towards the half with speedy taxi showing the way pick up the tabs up the challenge now half times on the board 101 and four speedy taxi on the inside leads it as the second half of play is underway chris shaw starts to ask pick up the tab for a bit more giddy up now towards the inside connie keeper is third up on the outside explosive victory is well positioned fourth majestic lady joe is shuffled in fifth is looking for racing room as they start their journey towards three quarters fourth defiant is third up now into the flow only five lengths off the lead loud eye bank robber is seventh way behind explosive drama many chances Still towards three quarters. Race still being led by Speedy Taxi. 132 and one. Speedy Taxi leads by a half. Pick up the tab. Trying to sustain that long uncovered grind. Three wide from nowhere. Fort Defiant is gobbling up ground. Midway around the final turn. Speedy Taxi. Fort Defiant on the outside. Gaining determinedly. In between rivals. Pick up the tab. Connie Keeper looks for racing room. Explosive victories off stride. They straighten away. Fort Defiant trying to slingshot off that cover. Inside Speedy Taxi is game though. Speedy Taxi. Fort Defiant, who do you like? Speedy Taxi! Holds on over Fort Defiant. Connie Keeper finished third. 202 and two the time. Very often pacing. 
Answers Fancy from the outside, moves out for the lead. Hybel Bond takes at the inside. There goes Jet Aviation, moving up on the outside, out three wide. We've got a battle up top, Frisky Jewels. He is being driven along to defend pylon position. Vegas Bomb comes away fifth by a length, and it's Illuminati head over. He's about seven lengths off this early battle, and up top, Tybal Vortex wanted the lead, and Tybal Vortex has it, leads it by a length. Heavy traffic in mid-pack there with Frisky Jules second. Vegas Bomb at the inside, third. Dancers Fancy taken back on the outside, parked out. Illuminati head over defends pylon position, and Jet Aviation was shuffled on the outside. Now is last, about seven lengths off the lead, 28 and four for the opening quarter, and Tybal Vortex has the lead by one. Frisky Jewels right there in the two-hole second. Vegas Bomb wanted to come out third, but Illuminati Hanover goes to the outside and beat him to the punch as they make their way towards the half. Along the inside in fifth position, Jet Aviation now moving up with cover to the outside comes Dancers Fancy. A lot of action in this one so far. One minute and two for the half. Tybal Vortex on the inside confronted by Illuminati Hanover. Three in, three out as they make their way towards three quarters. Tybal Vortex in front by a length on turn three. Up on the outside, Illuminati Hanover moves up the challenge. Outside, Dancers Fancy moves up third, only a length and a half off the lead now. Frisky Jules will need racing him at the inside. Fourth, Vegas Bomb is buried towards the back there. Fifth, outside, third up into the flow and moving three wide now. Jet Aviation towards three quarters and beyond. 130 even through it all. Time of Vortex and Corey Braden lead. Outside, Illuminati Hanover starts to labor now. Frisky Jules at the inside looks for racing room. Vegas Bomb does too. Out three wide, Jet Aviation. Dan Dancers Fancy is without racing room as they come to the top of the stretch. Tybal Vortex on the lead, leads as they straighten the way. Frisky Jules at the inside is out for the drive. Tybal Vortex, here comes Frisky Jules on the outside. Tybal Vortex all out. Frisky Jules all in to the finish. Tight for win. Tybal Vortex may have held on. Don't quote me. Frisky Jules right there. It'll take a photograph to decide it. 159. Very often pacing. They're on the inside corner of Virgin left well for the lead. Hardest ruffles from the outside show speed. All music's in between rivals. Hairway to Heaven's caught out wide as they race around the first turn. And corner of Virgin benefits from that rail draw. Now takes the lead, but will be hounded by Hairway to Heaven. Is driving up on the outside. All music is third. Here comes Artist Ruffles driving up on the outside. Fourth as they battle towards that opening quarter. Art again is fifth. Now the outside of Major Impulse is parked out wide sixth. Hold the gold is seventh. And FF Big Show will have to do it from last 28 seconds first opening quarter and quarter of virgin and hair weight to heaven are really at one another they battle in that second turn outside bonus ruffles has been parked the journey so far in third but does have cover inside all music is fourth by a length art again rides the pylons fifth as they make their way towards us the first time and now art again commits to the outside there's a force a major impulse out three wide hold the golds at the inside seventh ff big show is last that's the eight of them about seven lengths front from back, 57. Pace remains deliberate as the second half of play is underway. Corner of Virgin leads it by a length. All music is second. Hairway to Heaven starts to labor now. Artist Ruffles moves out three wide as Chris Shaw is asking him for more pace, and that pacer's responding. Art again is three wide, two towards the inside. Hold the goal, looks to shoot the gap. FF Big Show is mired in traffic towards three quarters. Corner of Virgin confronted by Artist Ruffles. Three quarters, 126 and four. Inside, it's Corner of Virgin. Outside, Artist Ruffles as they round the turn. All music moves to the outside. Hold the gold, continues to creep up the pylon. Art again on the outside is flattening out fifth up of the stretch. Corner of Virgin still there. Artist Ruffles is also there. All music is out three wide. Hold the gold looks for the passing lane. They straighten away. Corner of Virgin on the inside. Artist Ruffles on the outside. All music furthest out. Corner of Virgin. Artist Ruffles down to the finish. It's Corner of Virgin. Took him all the way. Very often pacing. Good start for most. The Sinta Hanover from the inside moves out for the lead. There goes Fordell set with gorgeous jackpot in between rivals. Lemonade Shine is out four wide this first turn. And Andorlina moves through along the inside. And she's got the lead as they straighten out onto the back stretch. The undefeated Lemonade Shine is caught out four wide that first turn. Fordell sets in between rivals and gorgeous jackpot there as well. So we've got a real Donnybrook up top for the lead. Lemonade Shine and Fordell said the two that kick on. 28-1 for that contestant. 
at opening quarter. Towards the inside, Andor Lina's third. Gorgeous jackpot is parked down fourth. Their lengths back is sent the head over, drops into fifth, followed sixth by Andy's little buddy. Cinco de Drinko's got a lot of staggering to do, about 10 lengths off the lead. And Kofifi trails the field, and Fort El Said does have the lead. Lemonade Shine will stalk in behind now second on their approach to the half. Their lengths back to Andor Lina third. Half time's on the board, 56 and three. It's up tempo. Gorgeous jackpot got to the pylons fourth. Here comes the Synth Hanover launching a bib now fifth as they make their way towards that three quarter mile station. It's still fourth L set up by a length on Lemonade Shine. And Orlina's a tighter third by two. Gorgeous jackpots down along the inside fourth. Outside of Synth Hanover's got to pick up her ball game. She's six lengths off the lead and sputtering. Go Fifi on the outside moves out three wide. Andy's little buddy's coming up empty at Cinco the Drinko trails. Three quarters on the board, 126 and two. Uh, fourth L said the undefeated Lemonade Shine is out for the drive now. And Orlina's two lengths back third. Out three wide. Kofifi's trying to gain. It's Fort L said by a length. Lemonade Shine is still stalking. Two back to end Orlina. On the outside, Kofifi is gaining determinedly. They straighten the way. Fort L said Lemonade Shine is out for the drive. Fort L said Lemonade Shine moving up. On a far outside, Kofifi. It's Fort L said. Fort L set to win. Lemonade Shine was second, Kofifi finished third, Asinta Hanover was fourth. They're off and trotting. Around the outside, Classic Bellissima moves quickly out for the lean. Storm on Dundas at the inside, moves out. Held in balance now, leaves from the wide side. Popping down in the fourth position, Catalyst in front of Carrick and trailing the field. Silence is bliss, and Classic Bellissima has the lean. But up on the outside, Held in balance, moves up the challenge for the lead. Storm on Dundas defends pocket position third. A length back fourth, Catalyst as they near the quarter. Through and a half lengths back, Carrick is fifth. And trailing the field, Silence is bliss. They battle up top, 29 and 2. Or the opening quarter, but now up on the outside, held in balance, forces the lead change. So it's held in balance on turn two, who now leads it by a length. Classic Bellissima's second. Storm on Thunders back to third by a length. Catalyst is four lengths off the lead as they make their way towards the half. Two back to Carrick, fifth, and the trailer silences Bliss and Classic Bellissima right back out of the two hole now. Up the challenge for the lead, and here comes Classic Bellissima on the outside, and she moves up and around past the half, and a clocking of 58 and three. Classic Bellissima. Bellissima's retaken the lead. Held in balance is second. Storm on Thunders races third as they make their way towards that three quarter mile station. Catalyst now. Shaw sends that one to the outside. Fourth by three and a half. Carrick really needs to pick up his ball game. And Silence is Bliss after a couple of bad steps has eliminated herself as they make their way towards three quarters. Classic Bellissima. Now Catalyst is on a major offensive. Held in balance still there in the pocket third. A length back to Storm on Thunders who's three lengths off the lead. Past three quarters and 129 and one. Carrick races fifth and silences Bliss is well behind as they round the turn. Classic Bellissima leads it by a length and a quarter. Held in balance to the inside. Second Catalyst starts to labor out wide of Storm on Thunders who's looking for racing room. Carrick now moves to the outside for Wugan. Still four lengths to make up as they straighten the way for the stretch drive. Classic Bellissima buying two now. Held in balance is second. Catalyst is third up the inside. Storm on Thunders. Classic Bellissima wins and she was never asked. Held in balance was second. Storm on Thunders finished third, 159. They're off and pacing. Good starts for Swagasaurus Rex and Kiss on the lips who move out for the lead. Real Future and gets a spot in front of Uncle Sai who just jumped it off. One made a break. Skyway Billy found a good C4. And now off stride Swagasaurus Rex fours on a complete gallop here as Real Future has the lead. Real Future opens up by two. Skyway Billy is second. Kiss on the lips drops down third. Then a big break of five to Jacob's Money who's fourth. John's Dream is fifth. Already eight lengths off the lead past the 28th second opening quarter. Uncle Sai is three lengths back pacing after the early break and also back pacing about the distant trailer with Swagasaurus Rex. Midpoint of the second turn. Real Future has the lead by a length. Sky Wayne Billy right there is second. Kiss on the lips is third about three lengths off the lead. John Stream is underway. Moving up and around Jacob Stream. Uncle Sign just not negotiating the turns all that well. And Swagasaurus Rex is last. They've reached the half with Billy Carter and Real Future up top. 57 and 1. Real Future has it by a length. Sky 
Highway Billy tightens down to the puck in second. Way to the outside. Here comes the mare. Kiss on the lips. Third. John's Dream hones in on that cover. Fourth. Still five lengths off the lead. Three lengths back in fifth position as they make their way out towards three quarters. Jacob's Money way behind the Swagosaurus Rex. And Uncle Si's got broken equipment. They near three quarters. Real Future has the lead. Outside. Kiss on the lips. Grinds up into a joint second with Skyway. Billy looks for racing room. 126 for three quarters. John's Dream on the outside continues the milk cover and Chuck Perry now sends him off three wide as they round the turn. Real Future still in charge. Inside Skyway Billy's had the journey. John Stream is revving up the engines three wide. Kiss on the lips labors in between rivals. They straighten away. Real Future has the lead. Real Future still by a length out for the drive. Skyway Billy. John Stream's motoring down the center. They come down to the finish. It's tight for win. John Stream and Skyway Billy hit the line together. They're off and pacing on the far outside. Fast moving train is living up to his name. Crocodile Rock is right to his inside. These two look the battles. They round the turn. Fast moving train completely blew that turn there. Fast moving train is drifting out way wide. And on the lead, it's Crocodile Rock up by a length and a half. Be Blissful is second. Redneck Fortune comes through to be third as they make their way towards that opening quarter. Always the Tiger drops down fourth by three lengths. Racing in fifth position comes Cyrus Sealster. Two lengths better than Smithers. 28 and 1 for the opening quarter. Back to 7th, fast moving train after leaving aggressively. And Hello 7s is already 12 lengths away from leader Crocodile Rock, who's up by a length. And Roger Plunt looks to rate this second quarter along. Be blissful, the ageless one is right there, second. Here comes Redneck Fortune now, driving to the outside, third for Tyler Sheehan as they make the way in front of us. Always a Tiger looks to shoot the gap at the inside, fourth. Cyrus seals third, picks up cover now, is second over into a joint fourth, past the 58 in one half. Smithers is at the inside, sixth by a length. Fast moving train looks to get on the move again and Hello Sevens is trailing the field to make their way towards that three quarter mile station. Crocodile Rock's got the best of it, still does. Del Blissful is second. Redneck Fortune is being asked for more. Giddy up by Tyler Sheehan out by third. Always a Tiger looks for racing room fourth. On the outside Cyrus seals there. Still three lengths off the lead at the doorstep of three quarters off stride in the back with Hello Sevens. Goodbye Sevens. Three Three quarters, 127 and three. Crocodile Rock on the inside, outside Redneck Fortune. Here comes Cyrus Sealster going out three wide. Be Blissful looks for racing room. Always a Tiger is mired in traffic, only two lengths from the front top of the stretch. Crocodile Rock looks to keep on rocking. Be Blissful looks for racing room. They straighten away. Crocodile Rock one clear up the inside. Here comes Be Blissful on the far outside. Cyrus Sealster further out. Always a Tiger to the finish. Be Blissful, he did it again. Be Blissful wins. Over for Cyrus Sealster, always a tiger rallied out by to be third. Very rough and pacing. Good start for five of them. Moonshine of Monkeys at the inside. Yeah, boy, yeah, and towards the inside as well. And the far outside, Highland Hellion uh, moves up down, dropping down to the pylons fourth. Summer Deo, RM Nate looks for a place to reside. We'll drop it in front of Surge Sealster. And Sinalta Diesel trails the field. Up the bank stretch they go for just the first time. And it's Yeah, boy, yeah, who has the lead. Outside, Highland Hellion is parked without a pylon second. Moonshine and Monkeys defends that pocket position by a 28 and two opening quarter. Race in fourth position, Summerdale, about three lengths off the lead. RM Nate is fifth, racing in sixth, Serge Sealster, and Sonalta Diesel is on the move from last with about seven lengths of work to do. And it's still Yeah Boy Yeah in front by a half. Highland Hellion moves up now to challenge seconds, been parked since the word go. Moonshine and Monkeys right there in the pocket, third as they come towards us for the first time. Second over now, fourth, RM Nate in prime striking range, three lengths off the lead. Half time, 58 and one. Summerdale is no place to go. Serge Sealster is third up into the flow as they make their way towards that three-quarter mile mark. And Sonalta Diesel, who was on the move, drop back to the pylons where he trails towards three quarters. Yeah, boy, yeah, has the lead. Moonshine and Monkeys second. Highland Hellion starting to labor in between rivals. Here comes RN Nate now, rumbling out three wide. Summer Dale with the inside looks for racing room. Serge Sealster is behind a wall of them. And Sonalta Diesel trails three quarters on the board. 127 and three. Yeah, boy, yeah, has been the dominant force in the up. 
Sweeps the Annie. Now he leads by three. Outside, RM Nate moves into a joint second with Moonshine and Monkeys. Summer Dale's helplessly pinned to the inside as Highland Hellion continues his descent through the field. They straighten the way for the stretch drive. And yeah, boy, yeah, has built what appears to be an insurmountable lead. Yeah, boy, yeah, is leading by as much as he wants to lead by. Battle on for place. Summer Dale down the center. It's yeah, boy, yeah, four for Perry. Summer Dale rallied on for place. R and Nate appears to have held show. 155. There, often pacing. From the inside, Sketcher moves out for the lead. That's just how I roll towards the inside. Flying Monkeys ask for a bit of gain speed. It will settle down to third as they round the turn. Big Jim Slade settles down into fourth by three and a half. And Hemi Lomont is off stride. Six on a break there. As they make their way towards that opening quarter. It's Sketcher in front. Sketcher leads it by a length and a quarter. That's just how I roll is second. Racing him third. Flying Monkey tightens down a bit. And now Chrysler sends him on his way. Here comes a move from Flying Monkey. 29 and 4 for the opening quarter. And with a burst of ambition, Flying Monkey is trying to clear Sketcher. Who's battling here? So we've got a duel up top. Flying Monkey out wide of Sketcher. Two lengths back. That's just how I roll is third. Another two back to Big Jim Slade. And Hemi Lomont will have to wait for another day or night, depending on venue. To the half they go, and up on the outside, Flying Monkey, inside Sketcher, they battle past the half in a time of 58 and four. Back to third, that's just how I roll. Four lengths back to Big Jim Slade, Hemi Lomont still way behind. As they make their way towards that three quarter mile station, Sketcher kicks back in and Sketcher opens up by a length and a half. Flying Monkey on the outside starts to labor out wide and that's just how I roll. Or back to Big Jim Slade and Hemi Lomont has eliminated himself as they near three quarters. Sketcher, Flying Monkey's coming back for more though. Sketcher on the inside by a length, Flying Monkey on the outside second, that's just how I roll is third and past three quarters and 128 and four. Three and a half lengths back to Big Jim Slade. He needs to pick up his ball game as they make their way around the final turn. Sketcher by a length and a quarter. That's just how I roll second. Flying Monkey out by third. Big Jim Slade is fourth top of the stretch and Sketchers to win or lose as they straighten the way for the stretch drive. Sketcher by three. That's just how I roll second. Flying Monkey's a spent third. They come down to the fetter. Sketcher runs the clock out on them. That's just how I roll for his second. Flying Monkey was third. Big Jim Slade was fourth. All set for race 11. Here they come. Off stride behind the gate to Nuclear Lomont, who made a break right behind the gate. The rest of them are sent on their way. There goes March Magic and Hickory Sassy Fast from the extreme outside post. And Hickory Sassy Fast drives up now to take the lead. March Magic is second by two lengths. You know it comes away third by three and a half. One proud dive. It is already seven lengths in the rears. And Nuclear Lomont is not minding her manners. Towards the corner, Hickory Sassy Fast is in front by a length, being stalked by March Magic, quarter up 29 and three fifths. Four lengths back, you know it is third by five, one proud dive, it is fourth. And Nuclear Lomont is in another zip code as they make their way around turn two. Hickory Sassy Fast has the lead by a length and a half. Racing second, March Magic by two lengths, you know it, third, three and a half lengths off the lead. One proud dime, it races fourth. Nuclear Lomont, the distant trailer. They make their way towards the half. Unchallenged, uncontested lead for Hickory Sassy Fast. March Magic is the closest pursuer. They go past the half in 101 and 2. You know it continues to bide her time from third. She's three lengths off the lead on a helmet. One proud dime, it looks to close the gap sub. And Nuclear Lomont is the distant trailer. They make their way towards the three quarter mile station. Hickory Sassy Fast by one. March Magic second by one. You know it's still third. Up the bank stretch for the final time. One proud diamond fourth. And Nuclear Lomont gets a big standing ovation at the three quarters pole. Hickory Sassy Fast. Here comes, you know it. Three quarters, 132 and three. And you know it on the outside. Quickly drives up. Looks to take over now. Hickory Sassy Fast tries the battle back as they make their way around the final turn. You know it a bit rough on that turn. Hickory Sassy Fast reclaims the lead. Up the inside. March Magic is third. Down to these three as they straighten the way for the stretch drive. Hickory Sassy Fast has the lead. You know it on the outside. Up the inside. March Magic. Three 
three to a drive now. Hickory Sassy Fast, here comes you know it. Hickory Sassy Fast, you know it, you know it to win! Hickory Sassy Fast, then March Magic, one proud diamond, and Nuclear Lobont.